This is, I made this four years ago. And let's see if I can't center it better. There we go. Um, and it was really just a challenge to see what I could fit inside of one of these. Um, after watching a lot of videos, I watched, um, I know I watched some of Urban Prepper, and uh, another one that I really like is Mezilch, M-E-Z-I-L-L-C-H, I believe that's how it's spelled. Uh, let's see. All right. Reverse. Okay, so I just have a hairband around it just to make sure it stays closed. Um, I also have a striker, uh, hot glued to the outside. And <laughs> I haven't seen what's in here for four years, so it's, it's kind of like a time capsule. Alright. Stuff's supposed to stay up here. Got a piece of microcloth, that, or microfiber cloth that I cut to fit. Um, there's uh, some electrical tape running around the edge. Gives it a little bit better seal. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple of antibiotic, triple antibiotic ointments. Always good to have at the top, along with a two inch by two inch gauze pad and a couple regular size band aids. And there's some uh, two alcohol prep pads. Got, uh, this is just a regular piece of notebook paper. I tend to have a lot of those, a lot of those little notebooks in my pocket, anyways. Um, this is some tin foil. Doesn't seem like it's a lot. <laughs> Not sure what I could really do with this. Uh, I don't know, maybe I could make a straw. <laughs> uh, it is a bit reflective. And Twist ties. This is something you don't normally see in survival kits. Are um, these little twist ties? They come in useful. Might even have a an insulated one in here. I don't know. What do we got here. Oh, this is. Um, oh, I glued together some sandpapers. This is a fine grit and a more coarse grit here. Um, very useful. And that looks like it for the top there. Let's see, uh, what in the heck, oh, I think what I did was I smashed uh, a cough drop <laughs> to make it fit better. Um, still works, <laughs> still uh, a little bit of a morale boost too, you know, even if you don't have a cough. Um, let's see, this is... Uh, some, I believe this is Gorilla Tape. Probably cut it down to size, and I believe that's just a, uh, a piece of credit card that I cut. Um, probably one of those mini ones that you put on your keychain. Um, this, I believe, is a crushed up uh, ibuprofen. And it's probably an 800 milligram. Um, and yeah, you just kind of, if you don't need a lot, you just take about half of it, I suppose. <laughs> and some of this stuff is really kind of stuck in there. Uh, this, oh, I did mark it, okay. Floss. Oh, so there's some dental floss inside of this straw. <laughs> it's pretty uh, age-old. <laughs> These kids, you know, having straws heated and sealed at the ends. So this is some kind of microfiber bag that I cut to fit magnifying glass. And what else is in here? Uh, a little mirror. How about that? It's a little uh, dirty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this can help you, you know, check your body for ticks and uh, maybe look around the corner, see what's coming. Uh, yeah, that's 
sit in there. I do have a tampon, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, this is really tightly packed cotton. That's really all it is. It's a tightly shaped piece of cotton swab. And, uh, I mean, you could use some tape and, and you know, tear off a piece of this and, and make a little band-aid. Um, these were actually originally designed for uh, bullet hole wounds. So if you do get shot, hey, you can clog it up until you can get to the hospital. Uh, let's see, what's in this straw? I do not know. Although by the feel of it, it's probably trimmed down. Let's see. I carry one of these in my pocket all the time, so I always have a knife. Let's see what's inside here, huh? is paper matches that I trimmed down a little bit to fit into the straw. Looks like there's three of them. Not bad. This, uh, <laughs> I never see these in anybody's kit, but these are those little dental brushes that uh, usually get them for when you have braces. And uh, I use these all the time, get food out of my teeth. And, you know, if something's kind of stuck and you know on your tooth you can kind of brush it off and yeah these are so much better than toothpicks in my opinion let's see uh, looks like whatever was written on here uh, man I do not know let's let's find out so we to sharpen that knife apparently. I do use it a lot. Uh, is this some kind of powder? Is this? Oh, I, I guess this leaked out whatever it was. <laughs> not, I honestly could not tell you what that was supposed to be. <laughs> oh well. Um, this I don't know if you've ever played this game, but this is a, a little game you can play where you toss the little pigs and depending on how they land, sometimes they can land, you know, in funny ways, of course not on, you know, something like that. And I believe I wrote down the rules, or the, or the way to score, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, it's called Pass the Pigs, that's right. And it's just, you know, a little game to help pass the time in an emergency. Uh, and this is like, oh, this is, um, medical tape around a hot glue stick, which apparently is not a good idea. <laughs> uh... Or unless, I guess whatever leaked out of that straw probably ruined this. Yeah. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, this is a pencil that I trimmed down to wrap some thread around. Got a button. The needle is already threaded and ready to go. And, yeah, functional pencil with an eraser. The way I look at it is, you know, this is for an emergency only, so, you know, I, I may never use this pencil in the kit. It, it doesn't need to be, you know, as long as possible. Um, yeah. I believe this is probably Q-tips. Yep, yep. Probably two trimmed down Q-tips. Yeah. 